Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Kennedy and I'm so excited to have you here. Today I will be doing a 20 minute flow and let go practice. So we will get started today by lying down on our mats. So find a nice, comfortable place to lie down on your mat. Feeling your body supported by the ground beneath you. Palms are facing upward, feet are relaxed, falling open. As you inhale deeply, feel the chest and the belly rise. And as you exhale, feeling the lower. As you release and relax all of your muscles. Beginning to shift from a mind consciousness into a body awareness, taking a scan of the body and noticing the areas that might feel tight or tense today and sending the breath to those areas. Coming from a place of observation and awareness, refraining from judgment Take two full deep breaths here. And then after that last and final exhale, we're gonna begin on the inhale to draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Maybe bringing the chin in or rocking the low back on the mat, giving it a nice massage. We're gonna keep the left knee into the chest, reaching the right leg long, hovering just off the ground, energy through the heel. Exhale, release and lower down. Bringing that knee into the chest, maybe finding some small hip circles or just some gentle rocking motion. Or even a few breaths. Finding stillness in this pose. With each and every exhale, telling the muscles of the hips that it's all right to release and relax as you begin to awaken them. Final breath. Exhale, this time we're gonna bring either a bolster to the side, maybe some blocks, or just opening that leg up onto the floor, allowing it to fall open in the knee. It's coming down, breathing into our hip, feeling nice and open. Two more full breaths like that. Last one. And then using the hand to guide this left leg up across the midline of the body and then maybe bring your bolster and blocks to the other side and allowing that left leg to fall across the body, opening up into a side twist, looking over the left shoulder to complete your spinal rotation. Deeply breathing, feeling the ribs and belly expand and contract. Spinal twists are great as they aid digestion, encourage relaxation. Last breath. Bringing that left knee back up and placing it long down on the mat. Take one full breath and just take a second to notice the difference now between your left and right hip. See if it feels a little more open. And then inhaling the right knee to the chest. Maybe bring the chin up. We're finding some small fluid motions, 
rotating through the head. Sinking the motion with your breath. Maybe breathe in to the shoulder. And you say if your bolsters on that right side, allowing that right leg to fall open. A few deep breaths here. With each exhale, reminding the hip that it's okay to relax, that you're totally safe and supported in this space. bolster the blocks and coming into a spinal twist on the other side arms can stretch out from the shoulders and complete the spinal twist looking over the right hand side momentum going. We're going to rock and roll all the way up to a standing position. At the top of your mat, inhale, arms overhead, reach up. Exhale, folding over, forward fold. Maybe bending through the knees, maybe separating the feet a little bit further apart, allowing the weight of the upper body to stretch through the calves and the thighs. Surrendering to gravity, allowing that to do all the work for you. Maybe shaking the head, yes and no. Releasing any tension in the neck. Relaxing the muscles in the face. Deep breath. And then bending the knees as much as you need to be able to plant the hands on the ground. And we're going to step back into a plank pose. Stepping back into plank. Beautiful. Three full breaths in plank. Here we go. Feeling strong and sturdy. One more. Let go. And on that exhale, keeping those elbows close into the body, lowering down, maybe coming down from the knees, lowering with control onto the mat, inhaling to a baby cobra, lifting, no hands, exhaling down, inhaling the left leg up, exhale lowering down, inhaling the right leg up, exhale lower down, inhale into baby cobra, both legs come up, 
And we're gonna go for swimmers. Here we go. For 10, nine, eight, seven. You're doing so good. Six, five, gonna make it. Four, three, two, one. Awesome, lowering down. Stretching those arms out to the side. We're gonna bend through our right leg. Just reach that over to the side. Nice stretch out here through the back and the shoulders. <sighs> Let it all go. <sighs> and we're gonna go over to the other side. Left foot comes up and around. Knee points up to the sky. Kind of. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to push all the way into your full expression of Cobra this time. Think about shining that heart forward, lifting up rather than cranking that back back. Keeping those shoulders nice and relaxed. Gentle gaze forward. Full breath. So release down. Inhale, push up into a tabletop position. We're going to flow through a few cat and cows. Exhaling into your cow. Inhale, finding a nice cat pose. Feeling free to add in any movements you feel called to. Making this a nice liberated flow. Using your breath as your guide. Stinking movement. To the rhythm of your breath. Now we're going to bring our shoulder to our hip. So bring this in here. Nice little curve. And to the other side, contracting to the through the side body. And tucking through the toes, we're going to push up and back into our downward dog. Maybe shaking the neck there to release some tension in the neck. And adjusting the feet, pedaling through the feet. Maybe wagging the tail side to side. Making sure our fingers are spread nice and wide, far apart. Space between the ears and the shoulders. And finding your edge of stillness. And stay here for two more breaths. Slowly with control, we're going to come forward ever so slightly. Maybe walk those hands just slightly forward or feet just slightly back. And we're going to go through a little chaturanga, lowering down halfway, coming up into our upward dog, cobra or baby cobra, whatever feels good for you today. Coming back all the way down to the mat, pushing up and back. And finding a nice child's pose. Option to make this a wide legs child's pose. And allow the arms to come back down beside the legs. And enjoy a few deep breaths in this position. out in front if they are behind you and use them to help guide you up. Coming into a hero pose, sitting on the knees. Take one full breath here, the palms down on the thighs to ground yourself and feel the energy, prana or chi, circulating through the body. Coming present and aware. When 
you're ready, we're gonna come up to a standing position and do a quick little balance and then one last little low pose before we go. All right, so just finding some nice hip circles here, allowing you to bend through the knees, flowing intuitively, finding whatever motion that you feel called to, adding in the arms, the back, whatever feels good for you today. And then bring the feet in underneath the hips, feeling your roots going down into the floor, deep into the earth, feeling strong and connected. We're gonna lift our left leg all the way up, trying not to use our hands. We're gonna place that on the legs, coming into our tree pose. Hands are in prayer position, maybe finding a place on the wall, or if you want an extra challenge, closing the eyes, trying to find that balance. Inhale and grow the branches up overhead. Feeling strong and sturdy, even in the wind. Blooming, blossoming into a beautiful tree. On this exhale, slow and with control. Bringing that leg out and placing it back down on the ground. Transfer your weight and begin to bring this leg up, maybe just to the calf or even here on the ground if you want some extra support. Or wherever you would like for your expression of tree pose. Bring the hands together in prayer. Maybe closing those eyes. Inhaling, reaching those arms up. pranayama breathing technique as well as a fun little move that I think resembles a roller coaster. So to begin we'll do it slow two times. I'll talk you through it and then for the next three I want you to follow your own breath and just go at your own pace. So to begin we're going to start around the middle of our mats. Inhaling the arms come up overhead. Exhale we forward fold sweep the arms back. Inhale reaching up. And then they sweep all the way around and on that exhale, I wanna see a nice big lion's breath. So tongue comes out, eyes roll back. <sighs> Crazy face, lion's breath. Don't worry, no one is watching you. All right, here we go. One more time slow and then we'll do it three times fast. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, folding forward, arms back. Inhale. <sighs> lion's breath forward. Awesome. All right, three times fast. Flow at your own breath. Flow and let go. Here we go. Shake it. All right. Awesome job, everyone. All right, we're gonna go into our final resting clothes. Make sure that you partake with us in our final relaxation. We're gonna lay down on the mat. You have a pillow or some blankets. Feel free to get comfy. And just let it all go. Feeling the breath that enters and exits the body. And begin to release, surrender, and your remaining control over the muscles, feeling the relaxation, creeping deeply within the muscles, and relaxing 
the deepest part of your bones. There's nowhere else that you need to be right now, except for right here, where you are. And you are already exactly where you should be at this exact moment. Take this time to thank yourself and your body for showing up and participating in your practice. And then exhale, let it all go. energy within and around your body. Slowly begin to bring some awareness back into the fingers and the toes. Deepening the breath and coming back into reality. Then we'll lift up the left arm and roll over to that side. Using our right, in, right hand to help support and guide us up into a comfortable seated position on our mat. We'll close our practice today with one chant of OM together. We'll do one breath to prepare and then chant one time. So feel free to join me. Inhaling to prepare. Exhale. Inhaling to chant. participating in this flow and let go practice i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave me a comment down below if you would like to see more of this kind of content i would love to hear from you i hope you have a fabulous day namaste subscribe